Some time ago, I listened to the Giant Bombcast regularly. In the rebuilding phase of that website, following the tragic death of co-founder Ryan Davis, the site brought in fresh voices to their crew. One of those was notorious rascal and all-around enigma, Dan Reichert. I believe that at some point on the Bombcast, Dan mentioned playing a drinking game in college called Lizard Man Shots that involved then current Dreamcast fighting game Soul Calibur. I have looked up and down to find this wayward reference and have been unable to, but I know it came up at some point. I don't believe that the rules of this game were mentioned, or if they were, I was so nonplussed by them that I concocted my own. This game was played many times throughout my heady college days, and most of those times I remember vividly and fondly. I sometimes think back to old friends I shared shots of Jim Beam with over a stained coffee table in a completely middle-of-the-road apartment, and hope, in that faint way, that wherever they are, they are well. Soul Calibur is a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. In the game, a not well-defined but still very melodramatic narrative plays out across the various arcade endings of each character. Beating the arcade mode unlocks a new character throughout the rest of the game. The third time you do this, you unlock a character named Lizard Man, who is a lizard man. I think that this is exceptionally hilarious, and the idea of a drinking game centered around Lizard Man was the most appealing thing in the world. So, I present to you the official rule set for Lizard Man Shots, a drinking game that can only be played alongside the original Soul Calibur. So dig out a Dreamcast, or check out Redream, it's a fantastic program, and your spirit of choice, because by the end of this night of debauchery, you'll find that the soul still burns. Okay, here's the setup. Step one, the game is played by two players, each controlling a fighter in Soul Calibur. Step two, prepare a number of shots. You don't want to pause the action to pour more too often. I recommend eight, with four set aside for each player. Preferably, these are ominously placed in front of them. Step three, start Soul Calibur and select Team Battle from the main menu. Step four, choose a number of characters for your team. The game allows as few as one and as many as eight. True Lizard Man aficionados always choose eight. Step 5. Select Random on the Character Select portion of the screen. This makes it so that all of the characters on your team are randomized. And most importantly, you don't know who you have on your team until they are revealed in the fight itself. Now let me describe for you the rule set for Honorable Combat. Rule 1. Whenever a player's character is revealed to be Lizard Man, they take a shot. This is, of course, the eponymous Lizard Man shot. Rule 2. Whenever a player's character is revealed to be Sophitia, they take a shot. This is called a Lady Lizard Man shot. Rule 3. Whenever both players enter a fight with the same character, this is colloquially known as a mirror match, they must both take a shot at the beginning of that fight. The loser must take an additional shot when the round has concluded. Rule 4. If both players enter into a mirror match with either Lizard Man or Sophitia, but not one of each. They both take a shot at the beginning of the fight and at its conclusion as a sign of lizard brotherhood or sisterhood. Rule five, if Inferno or Edge Master, called mimic characters, start a round with either Lizard Man or Sophitia's weapon, that counts as a reveal. Now here are some clarifications because all good rule sets must have them. One, a character is revealed when they first appear on their team. So, when the team battle match starts, both players have their first characters revealed. If player A beats player B, then B's second character appears and is revealed. Player A is not revealing the same character they just won with. Number two. Lizard Man is a clone character of Sophitia, meaning his moves are basically just hers with a different skin. Jokingly, a shot consumed due to her reveal is called a Lady Lizard Man shot. Number three, mimic characters, Inferno and Edge Master in this game, are fighters who have no original style and instead change to one of the other characters' movesets every round. For the purposes of Lizard Man shots, a mimic character mimicking either Lizard Man or Sophitia 
is grounds for a shot as if that character had been revealed, but not in a mirror match. Now here are some optional house rules for you to mess around with that I find make things more fun. Number one, additional players can join in the fun by declaring themselves soulmates of one of the players of the game itself. This means they must take a shot whenever their soulmate does. So, if players A and B are about to start a game of Lizard Man shots and C is watching but wants to participate, they can declare themselves a soulmate of A or B. We'll say they choose A for this example. Every single time player A takes a shot, C must take one as well. In addition, soulmates may dramatically declare the soul still burns every time they take a shot. Two, if partners are present, perhaps for a couple's night or some such event, Lady Lizard Man shots can alternatively be taken by the partners of the actual players, regardless of gender. Three, if anyone in the room criticizes the overtly sexual appearance of any of the characters, they must leave the party and compose a Kotaku think piece as atonement for being that person when we're all just trying to have a good time, come on. And that's it, that's how you play Lizard Man shots. The best drunken revelry one can experience in Soul Calibur. So join me in setting this stage of history and probably falling off of it. <laughs>